Welcome to another Graphics Cube Photoshop tutorial. Our tutorials are designed to help you expand your photo editing and manipulation skills. Graphics Cube has great digital Photoshop compatible products for Photoshop compatible programs at graphicscube.com. Now let's see what we have for you today. We're going to look real quick at how to do an eye color change. Like with most things in Photoshop, there's about a dozen ways you can do everything. We've got a nice, quick, simple way to do it. Okay, I'm going to zoom in real quick the eyes. We'll come up and choose the elliptical marquee tool. And we're just going to drag a circle around one eye. And making sure we have Add To Selection clicked, we will go ahead and select the second eye. Now we want to get rid of the pupils so we will go to subtract from selection and the other eye. Okay we've done that. Now we're going to go to the polygon lasso and make sure it's set for subtract from selection and we'll go ahead and get rid of the part of the lower lid there and we'll go ahead and subtract from the upper eyelid go back to the first eye and subtract the upper eyelid now we're going to go ahead and put just a little feather on that we'll put a radius of two just to dull the edges just a little bit and we'll go ahead and make a copy and as you can see layer one now is a copy of just the colored part of the eye and at this point we can go ahead and do a control U to bring up our hue and saturation menu and at this point we can go ahead and change the color as we please add or remove saturation and brighten or darken as we desire. I'm going to go ahead and accept that. As you can see already it has a pretty good look to it. We could change this a bit by changing the opacity. And we can also go to Gaussian Blur and this would allow us to blur the edges a little bit make it just a little bit harder to tell it close up as you can see we very quickly have changed from brown eyes to blue now this is usually very effective but there are some cases where it's not let me show you a perfect example okay here we have a young woman with very light colored eyes and as we zoom in we'll go ahead and start by doing the same steps we did previously Okay, I've made our selection and as before I'm going to go ahead and feather it to pixels and then we're going to go ahead and do a copy. So now we have our eyes on a separate layer and we can do a control U to bring up our hue and saturation flyout menu and as you can see unlike with the previous one changing the color of the eyes is not nearly as dramatic because of the light pigmentation. Now you can darken them up but it's still not going to create the same effect and by the time you get enough saturation to really make a difference we're suddenly having all kinds of odd artifacts added to the eyes. So instead what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take that layer we'll hold down the control key click on the layer that reselects it. We're going to take a color and we'll take our pencil tool and we're going to go ahead and add that color into the eyes. Do a control D to get rid of our selection. Now that may be a little more than what we're looking for at, at present. So let's go to our drop down blend menu and come down to color. Well, that's getting a little more reasonable. A little bright tone that down a little bit. As you can see we get over under the whites just a little bit there. We could if we'd like come back and erase some of that. I have the 
erase tool set to 40 so it's not quite such a sudden change. Now again we could add the Gaussian blur back in like we had before and continue to tone it down until we have something more like we want. And if we wanted to darken them, since we're on color on our blend, it's a little more difficult to change the color, but we could also always go back and do a control, left click to reselect, go down to our background layer, do a control L, and now we can darken or lighten the eyes as we'd like from here. Control D. And as you can see, that's a pretty dramatic change from where we started. Hope you enjoyed this Graphics Cube video. Please visit graphicscube.com for more tips, templates, tutorials, and more videos. See you in cyberspace at graphicscube.com. By the way, did I mention graphicscube.com?